we are good to go, folks. Well, I look like a bug with these things on. Um, well, here's the plan. I am, uh, where's, where's that? Where's the sunlight? Make sure the lighting is beautiful on my face. Here's the plan. Right now, we, uh, Chris, Chris, you know, Chris Bilaha. We drove like three hours this morning, and, um, we're at a lake I've never been to. And we are bed fishing for the first, for me, for the first time of 2018. Going bed fishing. Super excited right now. It is 12, 14 p.m. So we've got six or so hours of like prime time sunlight looking. Uh, time to catch bed fish. That's, that's the plan right now is to catch big fish. I think Chris was here last week and he saw a bunch of giant, giant fish, but they weren't locked on yet. Well, since then we've had nice warm weather up in like the 70s and 80s, so they should be on bed. I'm looking forward to it. We're gonna smoke some big ones or or we just drove three hours for, for absolutely nothing. But we're gonna find out one way or another. I'm excited for bed fishing. If you guys like bed fishing videos after watching this video or, or just in general, make sure you leave a like and let me know in the comment section down below. If you like bed fishing videos, maybe I'll start doing some underwater videos. Maybe doing something like that might be might be might be interesting to you guys. So just let me know. Let me know what you guys want to see. Anyways, Chris, Chris is coming. We're gonna go fishing. I almost forgot doing a meetup on. Meet up? <laughs> God, we're doing another meetup, guys. Uh, as you as you see, Chris is Chris is now here, and we're we're gonna go fishing. Anyways, I I, I forgot to tell you. I don't know depending on what day you guys are watching this, but this Sunday. What's the, 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 the date? The, 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 the 25th, maybe? Yes, the 25th. On on March 25th, myself, LFG, Outlaw, and Lunkers TV. We will be at Fun and Sun. I will pop it up here and as well put it all down below. We're going to be doing a meetup. Come join us. Come hang out. There's going to be coffee, fishing stuff, and, uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it from 1 to 3. I think 1 to 3, something like that. Anyways, it'll all be down below. Pop a little thing here. I'll see you guys there. Let's go catch some fish. Here we go, folks. Got the white craw. I have it on upside down. Let's try that again. The reason why I'm using white, so I can see it, not that this looks like anything that fish would want, but when you're bed fishing, you have to be able to see the bait because you're not going to be able to feel the bite like you would a normal, normal uh, cast to catch deal here. So, little T rig action. Let's see what this thing looks like in the water. Does this look saucy? Ooh, sauce. There's uh, on on beds. Basically, there's like a sweet spot. If you find the sweet spot, it'll bite. He's on it. He's on it. He's okay. Oh god! I got trigger happy on that one, dude. Oh yeah, he's he smoked the pinchers. He smoked the pincher. He's gonna. He'll get it. He'll get it. I've got a Ned rake. I could probably throw in there and smoke him. I just hit him in the tail. Piss him off a little bit. He's got it. He's got it. Oh. He it. Yeah. He just. He was grabbing the pinchers. So the ripples now. I'm not making it easy to see either. We're gonna. We got it. Oh god, he had it! Dude, we're gonna set the hook and catch this fish and be like, oh my god, we did not just waste 10 minutes on this fish. You got him! You got him! You got him! He had the tail and then. I was just about to make the switcheroo. This is Chris smoked why him. I didn't want to Look. catch it, but we needed, oh. we needed to get the. Uh, hey, little buddy. Alright, you got the Hold fish. Hold that out. Look at that. <laughs> we got it. We gotta start with a flare we, fish. We got it. Well, Chris caught the first one. I had. I had, I think, one shot that I didn't swing on that I might have been able to hook him, but he grabbed, he grabbed the pinchers a few different times. He's throwing the hot pink fluke. I'm throwing the little craw and uh, one fish, but that's not, that's not what we're after. We're, we're after big dogs, but it's hard. I mean, when you see a, you know, one and a half, two pound largey just sitting there, like you, you just, you inst my instincts keep kick in and want to catch it. Like, I mean, for one, I got to catch the flare fish and two, it's like, this is really just a fish sitting there. That's like, Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll let you, uh, I'll let you catch me. But you have to be able to like have self-discipline to not go after. Cause I mean, even that fish took us 10 minutes, 10 minutes on a fish that isn't really worth anything is not, it's not, it's not worth our time. We're going after the big dogs. But anyways, we got the skunk out of the boat, which is, which is important. Come on, eat it. Eat it. Eat. We got the tails. Oh, the tails, dude. I thought he had the back of the hook. I about, about had him. I didn't know if he was going to spit it or not. I'm not, wasn't taking any chances on it. All right, doing the old Chris special here, throwing the pink fluke on. I don't know if it's going to work, but that dude, I got the hook in him. It just didn't stick. Where'd he go? Is he still there? Yeah. Is he nosing on it? He's nosing. Got him, got him, got him. Finally. Woo! That's, a decent That's actually better. That's better than the other one. Okay. All right, folks. Look at that thing. That was gorgeous. It ate the old pink fluke. It ate my craw twice, ate your fluke once, and then smoked this that little dude. The best of us for a little bit but uh, that's not a bad fish. 
Just a, just a male though. We're not after we're not after these little guys. See, you, buddy. Right back to the bed they go. Oh man, that was um, that was fun. It was successful, but it was it's frustrating because it's like they eat they eat it and you set the hook and you, you don't catch them. It makes you wonder when you're actually like open water fishing when you're not sight fishing how many fish you miss. Oh yeah. When it's like you know it was a perfect perfect everything except the hook just didn't happen. But there we go. There we go. I'm on the board. Chris on the board. We found a fish on a bed. It's not the biggest thing in the world, but Chris brought the old rig for uh, underwater footage, and I know Look, you he's guys. He's not bailing, dude. He's holding his is ground. He? Is he? Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy, folks. We're gonna drop the camera down and hopefully get some GoPro footage. Chris and I, we might have to tag team this fish again. Last the last few times, it's like been like casting the flute, cast the craw, and you finally piss him off enough, but. He's gonna set the GoPro down. Hopefully we're gonna get some good underwater footage. I know it's interesting for you guys to see how bass interact with, you know, artificial lures and protecting their nests and all that fun stuff. So, we're gonna see how this goes. All right, see if the fluke does it. That's a good, that's a good angle, a little bit further out. Oh, oh, is it gonna do it, is it gonna do it? I've got a leaf on it. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. He knows we're messing with him. Oh, oh, oh come on! Right in front of the camera. <gasps> oh, get, get it, dude! What are you doing? <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. Go ahead, go ahead. See if you can catch him. This is crazy, dude. Yeah, he'll get pissed. He'll, eventually, he's going to get pissed enough. He'll do it. This is, like, the most entertaining style of fishing ever. Like, I don't even care that this isn't a big fish. It is so entertaining doing this. If he slurps it there, you should be good. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, come on. Dude, he ate it too. He totally ate it. Go for it. Yeah, it is. Come back over there. It's just radiating that he's not eating it. Oh, he got the tail. He's got, the he got it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, Chris got him. The old pink fluke did it. Finally. Finally. Finally, just a little buckaroo, but hey, we'll take it. It's a fish. It is a fish. Gosh, is that that's like the most <laughs> entertaining thing ever. There you go, little guy. Well, there's your, uh, you guys' first underwater experience on my channel. There you go. Well, folks, I figured I should give you some tips. Uh, maybe a lot of you guys have never bed fished before, fish the spawn, maybe it's your first season, which it feels like today is my first season ever doing it because I just got so freaking excited. It's just been such a long time since I did this. Last year, I didn't get an opportunity to do this in Texas. Didn't even really do it in Nebraska because the water is just not clean enough. So anyways, this is kind of what we're rolling with. So right here, I've got a little flipping bait here. Now this, you'll notice, is just green pumpkin. This is something you guys see me throw a lot. So what I do, at least you know, for today, what I'm my strategy is, is to throw this guy around just blind casting. So not when I see a bed, like if I see a dock, if I see a lay down, throw this in there. Because if it's off of a dock or a lay down or something that they're not usually on a bed, they're staged up is what they call it. So you can't just throw... I shouldn't say you can't. Most likely you're not going to catch your fish on a pink fluke or a, or a white craw because it's actually not. Don't be hating on the pink fluke. I'm not hating on the pink fluke. There's, look, look at that fish. That's not a bad one. That's not a bass. That's not a bass? Is that, is that a, oh, that is a shad. But when the fish are staged up, they're, they're not protecting anything, so they're not going to eat something. What is that? Is that a, is that a bass? Two-pounder. That's a good fish. Well, as I'm, as I'm talking, there's, there's bass literally everywhere. Where I'm going with this is, this is like my actual fishing bait, and then the white crawl was my bed fishing bait, so that's different. So what I do is I pitch this thing around. There's a bass right here. I just threw it on him. He's, his bed's right behind that log. I, I blind cast with this because it gives me an opportunity to catch a staging up female, but then the second I see a, a bed that I want to catch a fish on, you throw the white because the reason why you throw the white or the pink or maybe like a chartreuse is because it sticks out. And a lot of times when you're bed fishing, they, they suck it up and spit it out real quick, like quicker than you can react if you're watching it or even feeling it with your rod. So what you do is you throw white or pink because if there's pink sitting in the bed and all of a sudden 
there's no more pink, that means it's in the fish's mouth and you set the hook. That's basically what you're doing. You're not feeling for bites. That's the difference between what we're doing today and normal videos is you're not feeling these fish. You're, you're actually sight fishing these, these fish, which is why they call it sight fishing. So anyways, that's my, my little spiel for you guys that are watching. Maybe you've never done this before, but that's what I do is I take this thing around, maybe a swim jig. You've been throwing a jig. Jigs are also just like a good all around something you can pitch and also swim back and you just blind cast, blind cast, blind cast until you see a bed that you want to try to catch a fish on. Grab a pink fluke, pink Senko, white Senko, white fluke, or um, some type of craw flip mate variation, but I bright like colors. Lemonade ribbon worm. There Maybe you go. One of those. Something, just anything you can see in the water. That's what you guys want. Anyways, that's my tip of the day. There's one. Oh. There's one. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. That's a fish. That was the most surprising fish catch of the day, folks. I was like, I was literally pitched in there looking way up there because we we're looking for spawners. And, uh, and I went to twitch and about ripped the rod out of my hand. This dude crunched it. There we go, baby. Woo. That was on a, uh, whoa, that was on a little, little flipping bait. Again, what I was telling about, telling you guys about when I'm not fishing a, an actual fishing for a fish on an actual bed itself when, when we're just fan casting and kind of searching I like to throw something that's a little bit more natural something that I flip and pitch on an everyday basis and then once I see one and locked on a bed I'll grab the uh, the white crawl but that's what did it right there a few moments later well 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 ladies and gentlemen we are back at the old mystery tackle box crib I'm doing the outro here we didn't catch any more fish after that last one we found some big fish and we grinded and we just, they just weren't locked on. This is not a good time. I talked to Rob and Rackley on the way, you know, LFG and, and Lunkers on the way home. And we were all like, I'm like, all right, let's have a, let's have a meeting guys. What's, what's the deal here? Why, why aren't these fish biting? So here's the conclude, by the way, I'm going to feed Gary. So if you want to just wait, uh, after I explain to you what happened on the phone, um, I'm going to feed Gary, which is pretty entertaining. If you haven't seen it yet, this is our pet Gary inside the MTB crib. This is our, this is our fish tank. If you're new here. Um, but basically our conclusion is the full moon was like a week ago or something or two weeks ago. And we're convinced that the big girls are not going to move up and lo lock on, which locking on means that, you know, they're dropping eggs and stuff until the next full moon, which is in like 10 days. So we're kind of in like an awkward, like transition where like they want to do it, but then like the full moons or like the moon phases aren't aligning so the males are up there doing their thing they're ready to rock and roll because the males they're ready to do it at, at all times you know they're a lot like humans they're ready to rock and roll at all times but the females they're a little bit more picky and uh and then when they want the full moon around so that's the deal so right now i'm actually headed to uh i gotta head to lake fork with lake fork guy which is kind of interesting because him and I haven't fished Lake Fork together yet and uh, and that's his name so we're going there tomorrow so we gotta go get rigged up but if you're wondering I showered changed uh Chris and I were gonna go grab some food but I forgot I did not make an outro and uh I like I like ending my videos with feeding Gary because it's just one it's entertaining and two it makes my videos longer which is always important so anyways let's uh let's see if old Gary look he's just eyeing me he's ready to go that's in what's he gonna do oh he's crunching it boom it's gone it's gone okay all right, Gary, how'd you like it? What about, what, what about another one? What about, what about another one? Are you gonna crunch another one right away? He senses it, there he goes. There he goes, boom! It's <laughs> look at all, look at all the, uh, the scales coming out of his gills there. Dude, he literally just crunched those back to back. I'm not making any cuts here. Let's see, see how many he can eat in a row. Drop another one in there. Oh, is he doing it? He's doing it, he's doing it. He's gotta swallow the one though, look at him. He's gotta swallow it. As soon as he's done swallowing it, crunch, boom! <laughs> he's gone, dude. This fish is a freaking beast. Absolute beast. How many more do I got in here? I got a few more. So I'll drop two. We'll see what happens with two. He's got to digest the one. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Oh, is he? It's look, it's hiding in that rock. You see it? He's going to go get that guy. Boom. <laughs> look, he's, that one's still in that rock. Let's see if Gary can find that fish. You just see all the scales coming off out of his gills. I'm like, oh God, what did he just spit up a bunch of rocks? All right, Gary, there's another one back there, buddy. There's another one back there. You gotta go get it. Look at him, he's still, he's still digesting here. What do we got? We got a couple more. One, two. Boom, he just, dude, that's like five. He literally just domed five in a row. Dude, he, get in here, look at this. I just, five, five in a row, like, 
no hesitation, and then he's gonna watch. He's gonna swallow it, and then he'll just smoke this one. It is oh, yeah, insane. I can see the scales fine. Dude, there is this entire tank is filled with glitter just from the scale. Yeah, you stop keeping all the goldfish in there, right? Oh yeah. So he would just feed on. Yeah, he he won't. Yeah, he's. I wonder if he's full. He no, he's not. There's no way. He's just he's thinking about watch. Big belly. Dude, he's had. I think that's like five or six in a row. He's still chewing on him. He's gonna he's gonna dome that one right here. It's gonna happen. Go get it, buddy. There's a white one somewhere. Unless he accidentally, unless he smoked that one. Gary's getting mean. thick, dude. He he's, was very skinny. He is thick. He's doing. He's gonna do it. He's just waiting. He's still chewing. I can see. There he goes. There he goes. Look at him. He's like, you filming this? You ready? You got this in 120 flare. Come on, get this right now. And it's gone. Boom. Goldfish just has no idea. Gone. Well, Chris is here, but that was like it's, I, don't, I, I didn't count. I dropped out. Of, I dropped out of school, so counting for me is not the easiest thing in the world. But that was five. I think five or six goldfish in less than a minute, and he's just the dude. That's why we had to get this feeder tank. If you guys, I don't think we've actually posted the video yet on the Goon Squad channel, but that's why we had to get that because he'll literally just eat them all, and, and we have to be able to pace him and uh, and whatnot so he doesn't. I don't know. It's I guess. Like he's on. Yeah, that basically so we can film because otherwise he's never hungry. So that's that's Gary. That's our pet bass. Anyways, that's the video. Didn't catch any big ones. He caught a decent one, uh, but it was exciting for me because that was the first time I've been bed fishing for largemouth bass in like I didn't do it at all last year. I, I totally missed the, missed the window last year. So it was good. It's been a while. Learned a lot tomorrow. Like I said, going to Lake Fork. That should be actually a little bit more interesting. Hopefully some bigger fish. If you guys enjoyed the bed fishing, especially the underwater footage, let me know in the comment section down below. I will make sure to do some more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh yeah, Chris. Chris made a video today. I will link that down below. I will link his channel down below if you guys want to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace!